All right. Hey, coming up, uh, a very exciting events happening here in Des Moines a week from Monday. Uh, if you're a horse lover or just a lover of excitement and uh, showmanship and things like this, uh, this is an amazing event. Here are the details. Come see the most majestic animals in the world at the World Percheron Congress, October 8th through 13th at the Iowa State Fairgrounds. Bring the family and see these gentle giants at the Jacobson Event Center. The World Percheron Congress brings horses from all over the world to compete in various events like the prestigious Six Horse Hitch Championship. Go to worldpercheroncongress.us for ticket information. Come see purebred perfection at the World Percheron Congress, October 8th through the 13th at the Iowa State Fairgrounds. Yeah, that is a major league event, Jackie, and we have somebody here to tell us a little bit more in detail about that. We're talking about gigantic horses here. Absolutely. So mm. very excited to have Jared Hansen joining us this morning in the CWI Live Studios. Now, you're part of the uh, World Percher on Horse Congress, correct? Yes. Yep, uh, yep. I'm a volunteer with the World Percher on Congress. Okay. And what does that look like, and, and how is that involved with what's coming to Des Moines? Uh, so the World Percher in Congress is the, is the biggest spectacle that we have for our Percher and Draft horses. Um, it happens once every four years. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, yep. So like the Olympics. Yes, yeah. yeah. So a lot of a lot of uh horse shows or world championship horse shows happen every year, but ours is only once every four years. So wow. it's really special for us to, to have this horse show here in Des Moines. Now, what can people expect when they come out? Because it sounds like it's just a whole levy, a whole bevy, I should say, of entertainment. Oh, yes, for sure. Yep, there will be approximately 800 horses traveling here to compete. Wow. 800 uh, here at the fairgrounds? Yep, yep, from the United States and Canada. Um, so. People will be coming in from all over, and you'll see the six horse hitches uh, performing nightly, uh, the eight horse hitch on Saturday night, as well as barrel barrel racing and farm competitions and demonstrations. Now, if people have never been to a show like this before, you said that there would be six horse hitches performing. What do you mean they're going to be performing? Uh, yep. So in the Jacobson Exhibition Center, each night will be the competition of the six horse hitches. So. Uh, we travel. What do they have to do? Yeah, uh, it, it's a performance class similar to the Budweiser Clydesdales. How they have how they um, exhibition with their eight horse hitch. We have the six horse hitch competition. Uh, it's the most prestigious uh, award to win. Um, in our industry is the six horse hitch. And let's back up a little bit, uh, Percheron horse. Am I saying that correctly, yes, Percheron? Yes, yep, correct. Uh, what kind of horse is that? Because when you're looking at the video of the things we've been showing you, it looks like a gigantic horse. Yes, it is. Yep, they average uh, anywhere from 17 hands to some even over 19 hands. They average about 2,000 pounds. So they're, they're a very big wow, animal. Look at the um, size of these things. A lot of people refer to them as the gentle giants. Yeah, that's what we said. So they must be just uh, loving creatures, but just very big ones. They and are. people love it when they, I don't know the technical term, but really get dressed up, so yes. to speak. Yep. Uh, yep. What is that process? What does that look like? And why is that so special to come out and see coming up next week? Well, it, it takes a team. It takes a team of horses to show, and it takes a team of people to, to get those horses ready. Um, so we've been working, we've essentially been working for four years towards this goal, trying to build our program um, and get to the point the, where we can go and compete here. Uh, so there's, there's definitely a big group of people that's involved in prepping the horses, grooming right. the horses, bathing them, braiding them, harnessing them, and getting them ready to show. So you were talking about 800 horses uh, coming to our area. How many people come with each one of those horses? Uh, that's that's going to be a lot of people already. Yeah, for sure. So we. We usually haul 10 to 12 horses, and we'll usually take 8 to 10 people okay. with us on our crew. We have a pretty big crew, yeah. uh, but there will be just as many people as horses, if not if not much more. Now, when it comes wow. to the horses in general, uh, do they have special breeding uh, programs for those horses? Uh, they get the bloodline, what they need it to, ha to be? Yep, yep, for sure. Uh, so we've kind of... There's definitely different types of horses, horses that excel more in halter, horses that excel more in performance, horses that might excel more in riding. Okay, or let's, in let's, the let's farm back work. up there. I, I mean, we, we excel in halter. What, what does that mean, excel in halter? So our halter classes are, are judged on confirmation. So the ideal uh, structure and confirmation of the horse. Um, and so that they are just shown in hand uh, versus the performance classes, they're shown under harness. Right. Um, and, and they're more. Uh, evaluated for their athleticism and their their eye appeal. Oh. Okay, and so they're they're pulling the the wagons and, and things like that. Now they they pull them through. I've never been to one of these before. So they, they pull them around the the ring or through a course. How do they do that? Yep, yep. So they'll pull them through the ring. So in for example, in the six horse hitch class at the Jacobson, we'll typically put four six horse hitches in the ring at a time, 
Um, I believe in the gelding division, there will be 18 six horse hitches there competing. So we'll have wow. several different splits of that. Mm -hmm. um, and so they'll go through their pattern. They'll go through and work the first way of the ring at the trot, and then they'll reverse. And then they'll bring them down to the walk to make sure that the group can all come down together at the walk and stay collected. And they'll bring them back up to the trot and then they'll line up and they'll have to back. And so all of the hitches will go through that. And then at the end, it's up to the judge's discretion uh, to take a selection of those hitches and bring them back in for a rework so that he can decide who his champion is. Unbelievable. We see just a little mm. teaser of this at the Great Iowa State Fair this year, and it's one of the most popular uh, activities and things to view there. So I can only imagine when you have a whole show yes. of something as spectacular as this, it's just going to pack the place yes. uh, coming yep. up. So give us all the details so we can get tickets now because we know we're they're going to go very fast. Sure. So the show is October 8th through the 13th. It's at the Iowa State Fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. It's, it's so a great it's all event. it's week long, yeah. Yes. Yep. It's, it starts right at 8 o'clock on Monday morning. Uh, it's, a, it's a great event for all families, and you can get tickets online at worldpertureincongress.us or you can get tickets at the gate. Uh, we recommend the main gate at the Iowa State Fairgrounds to, okay. to come in and park. And get all the details. Okay, so why, are you, why do you get so excited about this? Why, why do you want to be a part of the Congress and this spectacular show that's only every four years? Uh, I grew up with it. I just, I can't get away from it. I'm a third generation horseman. Really? Um, yep. I grew up in Minnesota. Blood, yep. Yeah. My grandfather had Percheron horses. My dad has Percheron horses. And, and now I've been able to make a career out of it and to be able to volunteer with the World Percheron Congress. So it's really special to, to have this scale of an event come here right to our own backyard. Absolutely. Now, what's the first thing people tell you when, if they come to an event like this for the first time, what's their first impression that you've heard? Uh, they're just amazed at the size of the horses yeah. and the demeanor, you know, that they're, they're so big and they'll be walking down the aisle and you know right next to a two or three year old kid and they'll stop and lean their net lean their head down and reach out so that the kid can pet really? them really yeah yeah they're very very gentle demeanored horses and what are we looking for if we were a judge's eye uh what's one of the most difficult things that you have to accomplish coming up next week uh with the horses that uh, you're helping to show that we're like okay yeah they did that really well or oop i saw that yep uh so Consistency in the drive, but overall, just just a very flashy, attractive horse. Something yeah. that something that catches your eye. Um, you, a lot of people have said that it doesn't take a horseman to to see what horse is attractive. You know, mm -hmm. the one that holds its head high and can mm -hmm. really really lift its feet and move move freely. No, so. obviously these horses each have personalities. Uh, do they know when they're on, so to speak? Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. They they know when it when it's time to get ready. When they come out into the cross ties and they start braiding, they start getting anxious because they love their jobs if they didn't love their jobs they wouldn't be there doing them so right. they are yep they they love to do what they do all right so this is a major event happening again a week from monday is when it kicks off it lasts all week long at the iowa state fairgrounds uh, you want to go out there and check this out folks the 17th world Percheron on congress and every four years and we're lucky enough to have it here this year really quickly uh, besides knowing that these tickets are going to go extremely fast i i know a lot of little ones that are just love horses. I, I love animals as well. Are we able to get up and close with them or is this something we kind of nope, view from nope, a distance? No, for sure. Yeah, you can. The, the barns will be open uh, just maybe right before we start to get ready to show. They'll close the aisles off, but you're more than welcome to come through the barns and visit with the horses and to, to watch while we prep the horses and get them ready to show. Oh, so that's wonderful that's always, to hear. Sometimes that's uh, a little bit more interesting to watch than the actual horse show itself. It's, it's just the prep, <laughs> the prep process, of it, yeah. what, ta what it takes. That's yeah. incredible. Well, we wish you nothing but luck next week. And thank, thank you. you for coming in and talking about this spectacular show coming to our great area here at the Iowa State Fairgrounds. Sure. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's, uh